Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix widescreen error when joining games in Roblox. So let's begin. So let's get into the fix right away. So the first thing that we will be doing is going into our browser. So in my case, I am currently using Opera GX, but if you're using Google Chrome, it's fine. It's the same thing that we are going to do. We are going to our extensions. So in my case, it will be right here. And I wanna go into manage extensions. And if you don't know how to get to the extensions of your browser, you can just simply search it up in Google and how to get to extensions in browser. So maybe in Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, you can search it up right here and you'll know the steps right there. So I can provide you an exact step because we might have a different browser, but this is what you have to do. So you would have to, to disable the extensions that is causing um, disturbance into the Roblox site. So you will have to remove or disable it right here from your manage extensions tab. So in my case, I don't have anything that will have to do with Roblox when I go into roblox.com. So I don't have to disable anything right here. But if in your case you have one, then you should disable it. Or just to be safe, you can just play Roblox in a different browser without any extensions. And that way you will know if the extensions is a problem. So if you're still having errors, if you're still having wide screens when you are using other browsers without extension, that means that the extensions are not the problem. So if you haven't still solved your problem with this, then we can now proceed to the next step, which is going into our task manager. So go into your taskbar right here and right click and go into task manager. And from here, you wanna find the apps right here that is taking up a lot of your resources in your PC. So in my case, it will be this right here. It's the Premiere right here, which is taking a lot of my browser right here because I am opening a lot of tabs. So in your case, you would want to untask that and while you're playing Roblox. So before, I mean, you, before you play Roblox, you should untask and a lot of processes right here that you don't really need in order to free up your resources right here, because that might be the reason why you are having widescreen on Roblox. Roblox doesn't have any resources to uh, use because it's used by the other applications in your computer. So that's another step. So if you have done this and it still didn't work, you're still having error, then we can now proceed to the next step, which is to upgrade your graphics card driver. So to upgrade that, it would depend if you have an AMD or Nvidia. So in my case, I have an AMD. So all I have to do is type AMD in my taskbar and search here, right here. And I have the AMD software. But if in your case, you can just go for Nvidia right here, search the Nvidia. And you should have you should see it right there and yeah you would be able to download your drivers for your graphics card in your nvidia app but in my case i'm using amd so this it will be it right here and as you can see i have my current update right here but in my case in my current version everything is fine nothing is wrong so i don't want to download this you don't want to download and install updates unless your computer is working fine. So if you're having problems with it, then that is the perfect time for you to download and install some updates right here. So since you are experiencing this error, then I suggest that you download and install the updates for your graphics card right here for your driver and software. And yeah, that's basically it for this step. And if you're still having trouble, then we can now proceed to the next step. So the next step would be going into your settings now in your windows. So now what we're going to do is go into start menu and from here go into the search and from here type graphics and you would go here in the graphics settings or you could just go alternatively go into the uh, settings right here in the start menu and click on it and you would be able to search for graphics settings right here. So now once you are here you want to make sure that you have a Roblox game client right here but as you can see I only have the launcher right here. So you can also do this, but the most important thing here is the game launcher or game client. So we're gonna go click here on Bros so that we can add it right here. So click on Bros and go into your uh, Roblox directory where you installed it. So in my case, it will be here in this PC and most likely this is your case too. So you can try this out and go into your local disk right here. And from here, you would go into program files. And from here, you would go find a Roblox folder roblox and versions and then you want to choose the most recent one so i guess the most recent one with this one is this one right here which is 26 right there so let's go and open it and from here you want to go into the roblox player beta and you want to add it right here click on add 
And now we have the Roblox game client and you want to select options and you want to go for high performance and hit save. And after that, you're all good for this step. Now all we have to do is test it out. Just simply close this, close this window right here. And now you can test out if the Roblox is now perf perfectly fine and you don't have any widescreen errors that is currently uh, jamming up your game. And now if that didn't solve your problem, then the next thing that you can do is find a Roblox player in your desktop right here, the Roblox app right here. So you want to click on it. So right click and from here you want to go into properties and from here you want to go into compatibility and you want to go and check this right here. Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 and right here and you want to make sure that you disable full screen optimization is checked and run this program as an administrator is checked right there and all you have to do is click on apply and OK. And after that, your Roblox should be working fine without any white screens but if it does, it's most probably because your specs of your computer is not enough to, to run Roblox just like that maybe you will need an upgrade for that one. And that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so that you won't miss our future updates. Thank you for watching.